Let's do an initial tour of the greenhouse. One layer of plastic on the outside, two doors. Got the outer door and then the chicken door. So the chickens and the rabbits don't get in. These buckets are full of stratified walnuts. That's the next project. They will go into crates like this. Those have wood chips, I guess partially composted wood chips and pigeon manure in them. And then we'll put a bunch of compost on top. These are all of the chestnuts. There are about 3,500 in those crates, between 90 and 100 per crate. And this right here is how I'm managing the spacing. So it's 28 foot, feet long, the entire greenhouse. And then I can walk in here and be able to access all of the crates. So that is really an appropriate use of the keyhole pattern. Because often you'll see people just throw a keyhole bed in the middle of a yard and that doesn't make much sense. The idea of this pattern is to be able to maximize your bed to path ratio. I used unofficial compost because with trees you don't have to follow any rules. So there are little weed seeds popping up, but I'm going to burlap these until the trees germinate. And hopefully that'll stale seed bed the, uh, all these crates. This is my water tank that I might be able to start seeds on top of like a table. The pressure isn't satisfactory enough to push the water through the hose to water the beds. But I can still use it for like, I don't know, filling up little buckets of water and then using those. I might knock the, um, it's, it's the little blue thing that, can, that is connected to that handle that lets the water out. I might knock that out so there's more pressure, we'll see. This is what the walnuts look like right now. They've been in cold stratification in a large walk-in fridge for the past few months and then once they warm up in these buckets they'll start to sprout and then I'll plant them into the crates. <laughs> 